Breaking news. It's official. Josh Gaddis is out. He's no longer the offensive coordinator of the Miami Hurricanes. You are locked on Canes, your daily podcast on the Miami Hurricanes, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Happy Friday. I'm Alex Dono, your host. I'm a University of Miami alumnus, longtime South Florida sports radio vet and contributor to allhurricanes.com. And thank you so much for making Locked on Canes your first listen today. We're available free wherever you get your podcasts and available free on YouTube. This is a breaking news episode. Josh Gaddis is no longer the OC and it didn't go down the way I expected. So for the past couple of weeks, it's been the worst kept secret. Miami's offensive coordinator has been looking for other jobs, and I believe he was encouraged to do so by Mario Cristobal, and I think Miami probably would have preferred Gaddis to leave by choice because he's taking another job, which would ease the buyout. Um, instead, I think it reached probably a point where you know, you realized, okay, the instability on our offensive coaching staff, it's affecting our recruiting. It's affecting our transfer portal. We can no longer work on his timeline of finding a new job. We need to make a move here. So Josh Gaddis, you know, he'll land somewhere. Like he's going to get a job somewhere, but they couldn't keep waiting for this. Miami decided, Mario Cristobal decided he had to pull the trigger and make a change. And he relieved Gaddis of his duties. And so, I see it actually came out in an official release. Um, this email came to me and came to you know media members from the Miami Hurricanes athletic department. And it's a headline and then one sentence. It's literally one sentence. The headline for the email is Gaddis relieved of duties as offensive coordinator. And the entire release just says Josh Gaddis has been relieved of his duties as offensive coordinator. Miami head football coach Mario Cristobal announced on Friday. So that's it, folks. It's a clean break. And, you know, this obviously doesn't come as a huge surprise to our audience here on Locked on Canes because we've been talking about the, the situation for quite some time here about Gaddis not only uh, reportedly looking for other jobs, but not being present on campus in recent weeks. And, you know, as the offensive coordinator and wide receivers coach, he's got incredibly important duties in recruiting. And when you work for someone like Mario Cristobal, who is obsessive and relentless when it comes to recruiting, when you hear stories about the offensive coordinator, who's also the wide receivers coach, not being on campus and not being present for official visits for wide receiver transfers and wide receiver recruits for the future that's a red flag. It's a gigantic red flag, right? You think, oh, well, it's either got to be a, an illness, a personal situation, a death in the family, or he's not going to be the offensive coordinator. There's really only a few different ways you can look at it. And I think in this case, um, you know, Gaddis was borderline on the way out. And another hint that we had that this was going to happen is, um, you know, not every recruit that comes in and has visits can keep these secrets, right? Because when these recruits come in, if you're an offensive player and you're asking like, oh, by the way, I'm hearing a lot of rumors and rumblings about, you know, who the offensive coordinator is going to be or who he's not going to be. What can you guys tell me? You know, they've got to be honest, right? Like Mario Cristobal is, uh, you know, he's a great recruiter and he's a straight shooter, right? We know that about Cristobal. So when you have recruits ask him questions, he's going to be honest. And a report came out, Last night, Thursday night, courtesy of Kane Sport, Matt Shodell uh, had this interview with a 2024 uh, Phoenix, Arizona quarterback, Luke Moga, who, by the way, everything that I hear about Moga, he sounds like an, an impressive quarterback, so I hope Miami can land him in the future, but he's a class of 2024, so we have a ways to go on this one. But Luke Moga, in his interview with Kane Sport, dropped a big hint about staff changes, so he FaceTimed with Mario Cristobal and Moga said this about his conversation with coach coach Cristobal is trying to get his new offensive coordinator is still searching for his offensive coordinator and said that should come in the next week or so. So once that happens, I'll build that relationship and see where it goes. So <laughs> once the Moga quote came out last night, uh, I think it, it made things pretty clear for anyone who had any doubts out there. 
that Josh Gaddis may or may not stick around. Uh, I think that those, obviously, now that he's been officially relieved of his duties, those doubts obviously completely fly out the window, and they probably flew out the window when you heard the quote from 2024 quarterback Luke Moga yesterday. So, uh, you know, and I there's something I cannot emphasize this enough, folks. Um, I'm not just going to pretend that relieving Josh Gaddis of his duties is waving a magic wand that's going to turn Miami into a 40-point-per-game machine next year. There's a lot more that has to happen, folks, because now at this point, within the last week, week and a half, you now have an opening, of course, at quarterback's coach because Frank Ponce, the quarterback's coach, left last week. Josh Gaddis, who was the OC and the wide receivers coach, is out, so you've got three very important positions to fill on your offensive staff. You've got to find a quarterback's coach. You've got to find an offensive coordinator. You've got to find a wide receiver's coach. Now, my hunch would be, because this is conventionally the way that it happens a lot around college football, two of those positions will be filled by the same person, right? I think your next uh, offensive coordinator will likely double his duties as the quarterback's coach as well. That's a lot more common of a situation than what Miami had, where their offensive coordinator was their receiver's coach. Now that you have all three of those positions open, I think it gives Cristobal the opportunity to make this a little bit cleaner, to find an offensive coordinator who's also a quarterback's coach, and to go out and find yourself a great wide receiver's coach as well. But still, you've got to find the right people subtraction is not necessarily addition. And I know a lot of folks out there will say, well, Dono, like nobody could possibly be worse than Josh Gaddis. Nobody, right? And yeah, Miami's offense was terrible last year. 19 points per game. In 2022, that's embarrassing. In 1945, 19 points per game might have been acceptable. In 2022, it is far from acceptable, and it's the recipe for a 5-7 and seven season. And that's what Miami was this past year. They were a 5-7 and seven team. So that offense needs to get dramatically better. There were problems with personnel. I think the personnel is getting better, especially when you consider the upgrades Miami's made to their offensive line. Uh, it's the personnel, whoever is the offensive coordinator next year, the offensive line should be significantly better. Uh, if your running back room can stay healthier than it was last year, I think you've gotten significant upgrades with a couple of freshmen who I believe can play at running back and Trevante Citizen. If he's fully recovered from injury, the running back room should be dramatically better. Uh, I've got high hopes, you know, for the wide receiver room being more consistent next year, especially if they get better coaching. Uh, but this was not all on Josh Gaddis. I know that a lot of fans make Gaddis like the scapegoat for all of the offensive problems. The personnel has to get better, and I think it's getting better. And, you know, consistency needs to get better. Um, but in the case of Gaddis, his issues, guys, he wasn't strictly let go based on 19 points per game. I think there were relationship problems. I think the fact that I was told a couple of weeks ago by a pretty reliable source uh, close to Frank Ponce that he and Ponce didn't get along well professionally. Personally, I have no idea, but professionally, I don't think they got along very well. Gaddis didn't seek his input. When you've got a disconnect and like an iron curtain between your offense coordinator and your quarterback's coach, that can never be a good thing. They need to be working in concert. They need to be working together. They need to be on the same page. They clearly weren't on the same page last year. Relationships, I believe, were a problem for Josh Gaddis. Recruiting, I believe, was a problem for him because – you know, you look at uh, some of the running backs that Miami has pulled in recruiting, the incredible offensive linemen Miami has pulled in recruiting, tight ends Miami has pulled in recruiting. Uh, and, you know, a member of the staff that was not carrying his weight in recruiting was your wide receivers coach because, you know, Miami got some really good slot receivers. I love Ray Ray Joseph and I love Robbie Washington, but Miami swung and missed on a lot of outside receiver targets. The wide receiver coach was not pulling his weight in recruiting. And if you work for Mario Cristobal and you're not pulling your weight in recruiting, the writing is on the wall. It is only a matter of time. So, guys, throughout the weekend and in the coming week, oh, we are going to dive so deep on candidates, on possibilities to fill this offensive coordinator role. And the big question I want all of us to consider here, and we're going to have another episode today, by the way, I wasn't planning on doing a morning episode today because I'm doing radio here in a few minutes. Uh, I wasn't planning on doing a morning episode, but when you find out Josh Gaddis is fired, plans change, things happen, right? So we're going to have another episode this afternoon, Friday afternoon. We're going to have episodes throughout the weekend and into next week. Let's ask ourselves this question. 
How far outside the box do we think Mario Cristobal may go for the next offensive coordinator? Is he going to go for another power spread conservative type kind of with that Josh Gaddis philosophy? Would Mario like to, you know, get a little bit more creative? Do you take a shot at Warren Ruggiero from Wake Forest who runs a dramatically different type of offense? Uh, is it going to be someone who's worked for Mario before? Does, Ma does Mario go after someone like Marcus Arroyo, uh, the former UNLV head coach? Does he go after James Coley, who's currently working with Texas A&M, who's been at Miami before and has worked for Mario before at FIU? Where do we think Mario Cristobal goes for the offensive coordinator hire? But guys, the possibilities are exciting. Um, this is a very important hire. I don't need to tell you that because Miami's offense last year was a problem. You need to get this higher right. So I cannot wait to dissect and discuss what the possibilities might be for this one. And folks, I cannot wait to log on to FanDuel Sportsbook today. Oh my goodness. We are so excited about our new sports betting partner for Locked On because they are the number one sports book in America, FanDuel. And if you're new to FanDuel, that's even better. They have so many great features that make betting on sports fun and easy. New customers, join today and get started with $150 in free bets guaranteed when you place your first $5 bet. Just sign up at FanDuel.com slash locked on. FanDuel has all your favorite bets from money line to point spreads to player props. Plus, you can even combine your bets for a chance at a bigger payout with a same game parlay. All in one app that's safe, secure, and super easy to use. So football fans, do not miss out. Place your first $5 bet to get $150 in free bets, win or lose, at FanDuel.com slash locked on. Make every moment more with FanDuel, the official sportsbook partner of the NFL. All right, so my friends, again, to reiterate, Josh Gaddis has been relieved of his duties. It was a one-sentence press release. I'll, I'll read it for you one more time. Josh Gaddis has been relieved of his duties as offensive coordinator. Miami head football coach Mario Cristobal announced on Friday. So openings at offensive coordinator, quarterbacks coach, wide receivers coach. We'll see what Mario Cristobal does here. Thank you so much for making Locked on Canes your first listen today. We'll be back later today on another episode of Locked on Canes, part of the awesome Locked on Podcast Network, your team every day.